they are getting ready to kick off the 2012 season with a good old-fashioned shootout. This race is fast and it's unpredictable. Our boys, let's get this out. Well started, right? Let's do this. My first day. Gotta excuse all the questions here. I'll learn. Let's make it happen this year. Let's have a lot of fun this season. Let's rack up a lot of W's. That's what it's all about. Folks, you ain't seen nothing yet. They come to the line. The green is waving at Daytona. Looks like they want to wreck. They're trying. I agree with you. Trouble turn two. No. Five, six cars in it. To roll right up through here. We're going to be right into it. Stop right there, dude. You're, you're on fire, man. The dreaded consequence of pack racing is the big one. Probably the 500 is going to be single file riding around in the back. So you think everybody will show out now? Green flag. All right, man, get dicey up here. Just be on your toes. Here's Kyle Busch, 18. Oh, and he almost saved it, and he did. Phenomenal save, buddy. Phenomenal. That was a badass save right there. Trouble turn two. Right here, right here, right here, back it down, back it down, back it down, back it down, back it down. You're on fire, Kevin. Whoa, pushes around. Can he save it this time? Stay down, 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 down. Here it comes, upside down. Unbelievable. Hey, I'm the 24 just clipped. You're all right, bud? Yeah, so fine, so fine. Yeah, you're all right, bud. 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 As we get set to go back to green for a green white checker finish. Green white. I got something dragging now. And a tire rub. Can't really tell on that team. It's obviously not affecting them. One lap to go, and Bush pushes Stewart to the lead. Remember, he'll try to beat you when he gets over here. A mile to the finish line of the Budweiser shootout. Get a good side drug. Smoke versus Wild Thing to the line. Yes, victory lane. Good job, guys. Nice, nice job, guys. Woo! After some 30 hours of waiting, the first ever running of the Great American Race on a Monday night. To a driver, you'll put it in a wall. You'll roll it over. You'll catch it on fire. You'll wreck your teammate to win the Daytona 500. Ladies and gentlemen, Start your engines. Green is in the air. The Daytona 500 is underway. Oh, oh hard already. Out of the wall. Slams to the outside. It's five-time champion Jim oh, Jones. Oh, no. He collects Danica Patrick. I'm a little worried about Jimmy. He took a hard lick. Here was Matt Kenseth. And looks like a little overheating there. No doubt about it. Uh, looks like uh, Old Faithful is going off there on the Best Buy Ford. We saw Jeff Gordon wave out the window. Oh, Spark trouble. fire on Jeff Gordon's Chevrolet. The engine, engine just blew all to pieces. Oh, there's <laughs> trouble off the end of the back straightaway. Juan Pablo Montoya's car has blown apart right with the jet blowers that were working to the high side of the banking. Matter of fact, Juan Pablo has hit one of the jet dryers and the car has exploded. Right now, the safety crews are on the scene tending to Juan Pablo Montoya's car in an unbelievable accident. And all that spilled jet fuel found something hot to ignite it. Here they come now to the start finish line, and the green finally is back in the air. And trouble now in the middle of the field as one two car spin. Jamie McMurray is one of those involved. Whoa, Keselowski almost went over. We're going to a green white checkered flag finish in the 2012 Daytona 500. Trying to get the 80s, uh, push, 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 uh, man, once we get going. Here they come up the back straight away for the final time. Matt Kenson leads, Biffle is second, Junior is third. Earnhardt Junior continues to show Biffle. Here they come off turn four for the final time. It's gonna be you, it's gonna be you. We're gonna win the Daytona 500 again! Matt Kenson is gonna win the Daytona 500. As we finally wrap this thing up on Tuesday morning.
a glorious day here just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. This racetrack will just grab you and swallow you up. Hey, thank you for giving me a high five for bringing you out here. Just like we said before the race, man, it's going to be a long day, even on a short race. Let's have a good solid day, guys. We can do this. We can win this thing today. That's what we're looking for, a strong, steady day. Here comes the field off turn four. The pack house on their feet. Green flag, green flag, green flag. One pitcher is hitting. I ain't hit nobody. The left front. The left front is rubbing. You definitely think you got a loose wheel? 1,000%. Got a little vibration. Or just let me know if you, if you need to come out that road. Car on the wall, turn four. It's Clint Boyer. Oh, he's oh, coming, coming off turn number four. Paul Menard gets turned. Oh, Some problem with Tony Stewart's car. He turned the car off to save fuel. You have fuel pressure. It's hard to tell that because when you crank it over, none of the, the gauge is all blacked out. Brad Keselowski by a car length over Denny Hamlin, but overdrives turn number three, drives way up the racetrack for Keselowski. Don't think he gets outside of the top five, and Denny Hamlin goes back to the point. We're in the conserve mode here. Just maintain your position. Don't use any more fuel than you have to. Looking for the fences in a second race. Hamlin's lead. Shrinking slightly. Devin Harvick is coming. Hammer down, man. You got him. You'll get him. One car length, and the closer is there, knocking on the door. Harvick down to the inside of the racetrack, and the car is slow. Harvick off the pace on the back straight away. Out of gas. Keep going if you can. 29 looks like he may be out. 29 is out. Here comes Denny Hamlin. He'll see the checkered flags. And Denny Hamlin has won here at the Phoenix International Raceway. I don't know much, but I think we got us one. How about you there, buddy? How you like the trophy to take home? You're the man, Darian. Man, it feels good to be competitive again. Thank you so much. Here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. If it's not a sellout, there will not be but a handful of seats left today empty for the Cobalt Tools 400. If you're going to run for this championship, you've got to be good on this size racetracks. One thing we've learned, you can't count your money until the checkered flag falls. Haven't had any luck here yet, but uh, this will get us turned around here today. We've got a good car here, so we'll just take care of it all day long and get us what we deserve here. The green flag is waving. Casey Kane gets a good start and heads off to turn number one. Hendrick Chevys will race side by side into turn one. Kevin Harvick takes a peek. He wants to make it three wide. That means Dale Earnhardt Jr. with the race lead. Fans are on their feet here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Dale Earnhardt Jr. about a five-car length advantage now. Another driver that's making some noise. Our champion, Tony Stewart at 14. Here we come. The green flag is flying again here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Oh, here comes Stewart to the bottom. Three wide for the lead. That's Vegas, baby. Oh, we can't let ourselves be intimidated by any of these guys. When it comes time, we just make sure we're aggressive. Keselowski now challenging Tony Stewart for the lead. And Tony won't let him do it. What a run by Stewart off to. Had a one a little bit, didn't you? Oh, I thought I had my hand full. Trouble off turn two. It's Kurt Busch. You would not believe it. I ran over a piece of debris, blew the left rear out, and now we have a wrecked race car. I called it. I mean, it's just pathetic, man. I just can't even go into the corner. It's not a new one. It won't pick anything up. It's shutting off. I got to come to here. Ford's three wide for third spot. Boy, and that's three rash cars right there all on top of each and other. And there goes Kids in the Kids in the middle. Yeah. Here comes Jimmy Johnson, the challenging Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart will go to the bottom of the track. Jimmy Johnson midway up the track. A lot of momentum as he races off four. Tony Stewart won five of the last ten races in 2011. Now he wants to hit the pay window in Vegas. It's jackpot time. Tony Stewart will claim his first win at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Hell yeah, boys. I finally got a release. Great job, Addington. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, folks. And this marks the fourth year in a row in which Tony Stewart has won a Sprint Cup race. The world 
Seattle's last great coliseum. There are 43 snarling beasts ready to do battle on the high banks of one half mile of concrete here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Nice food all day long, no mistake. I know it's going to be busy out there, but let me know what you got. We'll get you sealed up here and keep up this racetrack all day long. Have a good one down there, guys, and uh, appreciate all your help. Just be smart with it. We'll have a great day. A.J. Allmendinger and Greg Biffle on row one to start the action in the Food City 500. Got your swap there, Joey. That's cool. This is getting fun today, boys. Trouble on the front stretch. Casey Kane has been tapped by Regan Smith. Slides up the racetrack. Ambrose is in the wreck. So is Kevin Harvick and Carl Edwards. Never even saw the guy spinning, Billy. Go to the house. Done. Over. The complexion of this race changes very early on as you pull a couple of the free race favorites right out of the mix. I don't know, man. Everybody's talking about not a lot of action at Bristol. I've seen a lot of action so far. It's Bristol, baby. Kozlowski will try to get alongside. He will get alongside. They'll draw even in turn three. Kozlowski, the new race leader. Really nice job, man. Hope you're having fun. Trace track gets into the wall in turn three. That's my fault. I hate him in the door. I'm sorry about that. Green flag is out. The leaders are side by side in one. Very sluggish restart. A late restart for Brad Keselowski enables Matt Kenseth to stay right with him. Need here. Need here. I saw you slip. I hope uh, Matt ain't mad at me. I just gave him a little donut. If it continues, I'm going to have to let him go. So don't burn that way rear off. Really jammed up up front. The top six, top eight, ten, still side by side down the back stretch. Brad Kozowski has the race lead. I just started to press the model harder. It acted like he had a flat, but it doesn't. It'll be a close one. We're pretty even. He's probably going to drive the top harder now because it's just for the win. Let's do it. Brad Keselowski rolls out of turn four, back to the line. Still a six-car link lead over Matt Kenseth here. You're clear. Five back. Brad Keselowski is going to win for the second straight time here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Yeah! Great job, Paul. Great job, everybody. Good team. You've been great. Heck of a job today. And uh, proud of everybody on this team. Awesome car. Yeah! don't think there's any question about the fact there is weather coming our way. The question is when. When will it get here? These guys are going to be flat out from the time that they drop the green flag simply because they're trying to race not only the track, but the radar. Got possibility of rain on the way. The best way to beat that, just be leading the whole race. Guys, just keep doing what you're doing. Doing an awesome job. We'll uh, keep working with this thing today. I think we got us a really good race car. Joe Gibbs Racing looking for their first Sprint Cup win here at Auto Club Speedway as the green goes in the air. All clear there. All clear. Take your mark there, Knight. Tony Stewart and Kevin Harvick, they're also involved in a duel for the sixth position. Well, if he had worked with me a little bit, I wouldn't be trying to scrim over right now. Starting to keep his arms in his window. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. The way he's waving his arm at, but if he wants to wave his arm, I'll just shove him. I'm done with him for the day. Go on up and get that 18. He's up there. Uh, 14 is coming. He's pretty fast right now. What lane is he in, Tony? Right, same lane as you. Stewart to the front. Tony Stewart has gone to the lead here at Auto Club Speedway. Just got by Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has fallen 1.8 seconds uh, back of Stewart. I think he may have scraped the wall. Freaking destroyed. Destroyed. How bad is it over there? You got a lot on your windshield. Starting to get some on about halfway down the back stretch here, but it's not real bad. Raindrops in turn number three put us under caution for the very first time today. It's not heavy, but it's just quite a bit of sprinkle here. All right, let's stay out. Well, some of these leaders must think the rain is going to... Oh, Stewart! Uh, he threw the feint on Denny Hamlet. Ay, 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 ay. Starting to get wet in the car here. All my getting wet. I got too much electronics in here. Be riding around in the rain. And looks like a problem now for Jimmy Johnson. Big puff of smoke as he was following the pace car around. Yeah, you got oil leaking somewhere. Yeah, smoke is crazy. Yeah, we got it from somewhere. My oil pressure showing. You can hate to say it, but pray for rain. Been told by NASCAR is that the race has been called. Tony Stewart wins the Auto Club 400.
Tony Stewart is going back to victory lane. This will be the second win in his career at the Auto Club Speedway.